Hi, this is Mr. Wathi here, and just with the Stencils Educator's Kit. Now I'm looking at Lesson 3, the Extra Activities. So if you remember Lesson 3, I'll just test this game to remind you of where we left off. Um, we made it so we could run to a coin, we'd increase our score, we made it so we drew our score, and also when we ran into the coin, the coin disappeared and it played the sound. So we see the score go up, we see the sound, and the coins disappear. Awesome. So what do we want to do with these extra activities? First thing, we want to try using a new font. So we saw that font in the game, not very exciting. Uh, one thing I know, it says right here, it says use the Pixly font included in Project 3. We click on our fonts, but there's actually nothing there. So uh, what we want to do is just to create our own. So let's just click right there. Uh, let's just create, call this new font. Yeah, super exciting, I know. Original. And it kind of shows me a little display. Maybe I want to make this a little bigger. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Um, if you want to, you can change a couple here, or you can download your own font um, online. And you can do that just so you can choose and look, look for a font of your choice. Uh, one little caveat, if you are going to download font from online, if you're going to use this for a game that you're going to sell, you're going to put it in the App Store, Play Store, uh, make sure it's one that it's um, not copyrighted, that you're allowed, you're legally allowed to use. Okay, so here's size, style, I'm going to bold this. And one thing I wanted to do is change the color to something lighter. We saw that our background is quite... It's got quite, it's on the darker side, so I'll actually I'll make this white and well, actually, let's make it make it yeah, pale. Sure, let's make it white. Uh, one thing I want to do is add a stroke, and a stroke's always good to help make things stand out. Maybe that's a little too much, just single pixels, fine. Now, how do we add this? I'll close this, close this. How do we add this to uh, to the game? Well, it's not automatic. Remember, it was under our scenes, about the level, and events. It was under this here, under the drawing where we said, draw the score. Move this over. So we want to change the font right before uh, we draw the score. So where do you change font? Well, it's under drawing. It has to do with, uh, with your writing with the drawing, and it's under styles. And all I have to do is find it right here, set current font two. Again, if you if you couldn't find it, you could always just type on font right here, and it will it will find it will come up. So set current font two. You have to choose what font you want. New font. There you go. Let's test the game out. Test the game out. Loading. And we see that. Well, look at that. A big fat zero and the numbers go up. Okay, so it's a little clearer to see, it's a little bigger. One thing you might notice that it's kind of, doesn't look the greatest on this edge. It might be nice to be centered a bit. So if I wanted to, I could go to this X and Y here. I could change this maybe to 30. I don't know, and then test the game out. Um, so as I wait for this to load, let's start on to the second, the extra activities. So it's a trap. It says to duplicate the coin actor from the main activity called fake coin. When touched, this actor will subtract coins. Sorry, this actor will subtract coins from your score rather than add to it. If your score below goes below zero, keep it at zero. Bonus activity: use the tin block to change the fake coin's appearance so it looks evil. All right, awesome. So we see here this uh, score location is a little better. Okay, I'm gonna close this down. So let's do what they say. We want to duplicate this coin here. Click duplicate. And we want to rename it. Just right click. Let's call it fake coin. Apply changes. And what do we want to do here? We want to say when this is. Uh, let's open up the events. So we see when I duplicated the actor, so all these events are already created for me. So what I want is not necessary for the score to go up, but I want it to go down. 
So again, it'll play a sound. It'll kill you. Ideally, it'd be nice to have a different sound, but uh, that's not the case right now. So, what do I want to happen? I want the score to go down. Important thing here: if the score, if your score goes below zero, keep it at zero. So, it's you see, there's that if there. We're going to need to use a conditional. We're going to have to use that if block, which is found under flow. So, if let me grab that. If uh, my score goes below zero, keep it at zero. Okay. So let me see here. If my score, if say score is less than zero, less than or equal to zero. If my score is less than or equal to zero, let's set score to zero. That way score can become negative. Does that make sense? I think so. Let's try it out. Otherwise, otherwise, remember other, otherwise is always connected with an if. Um, otherwise, so if this is false, if score is greater than zero, let's set score. Again, if I hold on alt, and I click here, it copies it. Okay, set score to, well, let's, let's no, we don't want to add score. We want to minus it. Let's go minus. Let's uh, hold on Alt again. I can copy that. Score minus one. Oh, one. Take this. Throw it in the trash. Let's test this out. But in fact, in order to test this out, I probably need some fake coins on my level. So let's go to level one. Go to your scene. Go to actors. So there's no way to distinguish between them other than their name here. These are all real coins that are uh, that are placed there. Let's put some fake coins, uh, let's put them along the way and uh, see what happens. Okay, I'll put, uh, yeah, let's put a couple there. And actually, just for testing purposes, delete that. I'm gonna bring my actor right in the middle. Just bring it, make it a little easier when I run my game. Not the run as far. Okay, so let's test this out. See if this works. Do, 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 do. Loading. And then the next thing after this, I want to use a temp block to make my fake coins appearance to look evil. So first thing that should go up. It goes up one. That goes down one. I should, should if I touch this one here, it should be uh, remain at zero. And that is the case. That is the case. And if I have more, it's five. This should be negative one there. Four. Beauty. It works great. So again, what did we do there? We used an if block, if otherwise, and in in uh, inequality there. Awesome. So how do we do? How do we make use the tint block? Okay. So tint. I don't. I don't really know what that is. Not sure. Um, I'm going to type that right here. Tint. Okay. So we have two different tints. We have blue and we have pink. <clears throat> a little heads up here. Pink has to do with seams. Okay, so this block here, if I go right click and you'll find in palette, it's going to be under the seam. Let's just try that out. So it's the seam. So it's if you wanted to change the tint of the whole scene. Blue blocks, on the other hand, have to do with actors. So I right click, find in palette. It's in effect where I can tint the actor, the color of the actor. I can tint it. And again, blue, actor, pink, same. All right, that's simple. So I don't want to put this here because this is when the actor hits something. What I want to do is actually go when creating. Um, that means when the actor is created. Or you know what I can do? Go down to actors, specific actor. I think this is actually the one that we want. So what does this do? When actor, and I want to go to self, self referring to the fake coin, is created, not killed, but created, I want to change the tint, I want to tint it to, let's choose something evil, I don't know, green, what, do we, what should we use? Uh, yeah, sure, that looks great for now. Kind of a disgusting barf green. And uh, I don't know what percentage, you could do 100%, so it's 
straight that color, but I'll do 75%, why not? It's all about uh, testing it out, really. So you notice that this doesn't fit in here. I need to have that little notch in there so it fits nicely. So which one of these can I uh, can I use? This is add remove. Well, I want to apply an effect. That looks like uh, what I want. So I apply effect. This, if it's just uh, like a rectangular block like this, this fits into one of these areas. So again, I could choose from a drop down, choose tint, some other effects I could I could have. You know, I can make it sepia, negative grayscale, all that cool stuff. But I just want to take this, plop it in there, and let's test this out. We also notice there's a remove all effects um, from actor. So a lot of different things you can do here. Maybe um, if you your hero gets poisoned, maybe it takes poison, maybe you want to change his color to green. And after so many seconds, maybe you want to remove all effects. Just, just a heads up, just an idea. Okay, so we look right here. Look at that. Our evil coins are slightly green and we see that it still works looking pretty pretty awesome okay so we still have timer and save game timer remember we probably need to use an attribute I'm gonna make the timer into a different video just so this video doesn't get too long and hopefully I get to the save game as well thanks for watching cheers